Good day, everyone. My name is um, Joshua Olaleka Ogunwale. And by the grace of God, I lead the team in Bowen University. Today, I'm supposed to talk about, on the topic, the role of university in sustaining the ecosystem and mitigating the effects of uh, climate change. Let me start by saying that um, there are some gases um, that are in the atmosphere that have the tendency of uh, allowing um, solar radiation to come into the earth, and um, they do not allow terrestrial re-radiation to return back to space. Now, those gases are the gases we call the greenhouse gases. Now, one strong, one important gas um, among these greenhouse gases is carbon dioxide. And so carbon dioxide has this tendency that um, she, when it is present in the atmosphere, solar radiation could come in, but um, it will hinder terrestrial radiation from radiating back, therefore making the earth warmer than it naturally would be. Now, that's not a situation that um, everyone wants, a warmer heart, a hot heart, and so on. So what um, we try to do as much as possible is to mitigate the um, amount of, um, solar, of carbon dioxide that is released into the atmosphere. Or when solar carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, another thing you could do is to get um, uh, natural um, organisms that will be able to utilize the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so that um, you don't have uh, plenty um, carbon dioxide um, in the atmosphere. So as a university, um, a university is um, um, a learning environment that is supposed to ensure that understanding and knowledge is propagated. And one thing about um, propagation of knowledge is to also ensure that uh, there is a natural stability. Nature is conserved. There's natural stability. Whatever ecosystem you find yourself, you must ensure that there is equilibrium within the ecosystem. Now, most of the time, why we don't achieve such is that you come into an ecosystem, you, you destroy virtually the vegetation, you destroy the, um, the fauna, you destroy the, uh, the flora, and then you, 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 you aren't in the whole of the area. And so there is really nothing else to help you to stabilize the ecosystem. Now, that becomes a dangerous scenario because what is happening is that you are gradually degrading that um, environment. And when you have a degraded environment, there are series of, of um, indicators that you could have. You have heavy runoff where you have series of erosion taking place. You have real and gully erosions all around. And when you have such kind of things, carbon dioxide is being, that have been stored in the earth is being emitted freely into the atmosphere. Another thing, particularly with um, fauna, with the animal world, is that most of these animals burrow into the earth. And so when it rains, these rains find these um, openings and crevices an opportunity to flow into. And so before you know it, there is good infiltration, there is good percolation even onto, into, the, um, into the soil and, and what have you. However, whenever you don't have any of this, what happens is that you have cities of um, running off, you have cities of soil movement, and then you have ultimately a collapse um, system. In Bowen University, um, one of the things we try to do is to really maintain and conserve the ecosystem the way it is. If you come to Bowen, there is a part of Bowen you see bats. Okay? We've done everything possible to maintain it the way it is. We, we are doing certain studies on the bats. We know these are, they are, they are actually food bats. Okay, and they migrate. Okay, one of the things we are considering doing is how can we mimic with rubber materials? How can we mimic the trees? 
so that we can we can make um, something like a tree to rubber, which the bat could stay in and may become um, a, an attraction for tourism. Now, another thing we do in Bowa University is that um, we always maintain that we, we, we try as much as possible to maintain what you call a, a landscape, a wonderful landscape architecture. We have worked on, on our landscape and we have improved it by making sure that we have uh, grassways, we have very good lawns, and then we plant trees. Now, one thing that trees do is that trees have the capacity to um, absorb enormous amount of carbon dioxide. Now, this enormous amount of carbon dioxide is through photosynthesis is converted into food materials that the tree will, will use. And usually a byproduct of the photosynthesis is oxygen. And that's why you find out that wherever you plant trees, you have a different microclimate relative to places where there are no trees. And you see that it becomes, it be, it, the trees also have the capability when they have grown, their roots can hold soils together. So where you see trees growing um, in, in their numbers, you will hardly, erosion is significantly reduced. Okay, runoff is stepped down. Okay, and then you have a good um, um, environment, either to cool, either to study, either to interact, and then the entire um, ecosystem begin to be more oxidized, okay, be or begin to, be, to have more oxygen than um, what usually would be. Uh, another thing we do in Bowa University is that we, any, um, any fauna we, we, we see that is, um, that is inhabiting the area, we try to know what it is it eats, how it survives, so that we will not trouble it. We, will, we can conserve it. One of the things you will see in Bowen in an early morning, maybe say 9.30, 10 a.m. On, on one of our lawns, is that hawks come in that place. Honestly, I've not bothered to see what they pick, but they will arrive in a, on a sunny day, and they will be there in their numbers. Moving around, they know nobody will disturb them. Nobody will, 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 will chase them away, and so on. And any time I see such things, I know that um, we have an environment that is getting, that is being stabilized. And it's an environment that we are conserving. Another um, fauna we see very well is the, is the squirrel. The squirrel move around. And, so, and once in a while, too, when we notice that we don't see these squirrels most of the time, what we do is that we, we put some money and buy granites, put on certain grassways because we know that the squirrels will come. And uh, one of the things they do is that through their burrowing activity and, and what have you, they, they are helping us to conserve the, uh, the ecosystem. As a university, we need to teach people. We need to uh, educate people. We need to create awareness about our surrounding. Most of the time when we don't take care of our surrounding, it has a tremendous health implication upon our lives and upon the lives of those uh, uh, living, living in it. And that is why uh, I will encourage that um, wherever we find ourselves, we should be mindful to ensure that we leave the environment the way we met, we, we met it, if we can improve on the environment. Environmental quality is uh, synonymous also with life expectancy. So I. Uh, we've been doing a, a series of things in Bowen. For instance, you don't come to Bowen to hunt. We, we don't permit any hunting. If we find out that there is overpopulation or population build-up or so, we know what to do, rather than um, allowing people to come and do what you call indiscriminate uh, hunting. We try as much as possible to conserve our ecosystem, and it's been working for us. In some places where we actually still have uh, erosion um, manifested, we have been able to begin to build sandbags on the way to reduce and step down uh, runoff, and, and, and then ensure that there is a soil deposition rather than uh, transporting of soils from one point 
um, to the other. So if you come to Bowen, uh, sandbags are futures you will see. And we use them to step down um, um, runoff. Another thing we do is that um, we try as much as possible to make sure that our, our playing grounds are grassed. Now, the effect of grassing is that it reduces the impact of rain, rain drop. When the rain is dropping, rather than one, if it is open, the tendency is that it will detach many of the soils. But when there is a cover for the soil, it makes it very easy for the soils to remain intact and to be able to absorb the impact of, uh, of raindrop. Um, I, would invite, I would love to invite anyone to come to, to visit us at Bowen University and see um, some of the things we're doing to be at peace um, with, uh, with nature. There are, there are, it's one area that um, you could still see few of uh, wildlife still living freely, even where people are living in the, in the country. And uh, we want a situation where you have this kind of thing um, all over. If you preserve your um, environment, you are actually bequeathing um, a legacy even to prosperity. And that is what we want to do in Bowen. That is what we have begun to do. And that's what we will continue doing. So you, you have a responsibility to mitigate um, the effect of uh, climate change by ensuring that carbon dioxide um, are not freely released into the, uh, the atmosphere. One last thing before I take a bow is to say that even when we plant, we realize that you don't need to till the ground. All you need to do is to, is to practice what we call conservation agriculture. You, you don't have to really till the ground to plant most of the things you, you, you need. For instance, um, after, after a, a dry season, when the rains begin to come, nobody till the ground before the grasses start growing. So if this, if this series grasses can grow, okay, it only means that series can grow without having to till the ground. The more you till the ground, the more you release carbon dioxide that have been trapped into the atmosphere. Those are the things we are beginning to teach our students. We are beginning to talk to ourselves as staff so that we will have um, a, a community that is, um, uh, that is environmentally safe and that is environmental sound. Thank you and God bless you.